hi fellow enthusiasts welcome to my channel let's go into today's video and we're gonna come back at the end to wrap it up all right in this series we're gonna be looking at the Arduino projects using next gen display we talked about sensors in the past and we said we're gonna be introducing sensors couple of sensors that we've been introducing to you now we want to show you the end of one of these projects and then we're going to go back and reintroduce it show you how to build up step by step to this point right here you can see a next gen display on the screen and then on the other side you can also see the next gen editor where we, we built this project from okay now after we built this we installed it on the next gen display there are two ways to do this you can use the SD card to install it directly on the next gen display or you can use the FT FTDI cable to install it directly on your next gen display now after you do that you have to go to your Arduino and build the codes that will respond to uh, that will respond and correspond to your um, next gen display now this next gen display is very powerful that you can run some project directly on the next gen display without having to have arduino or any other microcontrollers because the next gen display itself is uh, self so, so contained it has some microcontrollers at the back of it and it can run some product projects you can have the, the advanced the audience has or even the basic version they have some uh really cool functionalities on their own without you needing to have the um uh, microcontroller behind it now let's demonstrate what we have right here on the screen so you can see we have the ssid and password field so i'm gonna go in and click on the ssid before i do that let's see what is happening on the serial monitor so i'm gonna go on ssid and then this keyboard that pops up here is highly customizable you can change it the way you want but right now let's connect to an SSID that is close by and this one is a connect wireless right so we're gonna click on the password field and you can see on the serial monitor that it says we are connected to this SSID. You can see some number 65061FFFFF. What does that mean? We're going to tell you all about that in the subsequent videos. But right now, we're going to enter the password. So the password, you just enter whatever password you have for your, your Wi Fi hotspot. Now, when we click on OK, we have the option to click connect or you can go back to any of the fields to edit it if there was an error all right so we're gonna click connect and then you can you see right away it tells you it's connected and it's connected to hackernet wireless and it tells you server started at 192.168.0.22 right so we can go to this server on any com any computer or any mobile device connected to to the same Wi-Fi hotspot and we'll begin to interact with this project. It's that simple. It is that simple. So we're gonna show you how to build up to this point, the codes that we have uh, running behind this. And I want you to understand one thing. When I move this project from one house to the other or from one place to the other, I don't need to go into my Arduino and re-enter my SSID and password because this is normally what we, know, we did with Arduinos um, with um, Node MCUs and, and wireless uh, Wi-Fi connections. We normally have to enter the SSID and the password in the code while before we install it on the on the uh, Arduino project on the Arduino Uno or or Node MCU. But right now, what you're seeing here is that you can actually go to a new place and just if you know the SSID and password of the of the, the Wi-Fi connection. Wi-Fi hotspot want to connect to, you can just enter the SSID and password and you click on connect and it will be working seamlessly. All right. So we'll show you how to do all this in the subsequent videos. All right. So on the screen, you can see when I click on off. So let me show you this LED properly. Then when I click on off, 
the LED goes off here. All right. So when you click on on, the LED comes on here. So off, then on. So I will demonstrate the code how to create this buttons, big buttons in your for your projects. But you have seen we can use the next gen display to enter SSIDs and password for your Wi-Fi hotspot. So when you move your project from place to place, you can actually reconnect to a new Wi-Fi hotspot. All right. Thanks for sticking around to the end. That will be it from us today. Please, if you have not subscribed, do so right now. And don't forget to like and share this video. Until we come your way again with more contents, stay enthused.